Hey and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host Matt and today we're going to be taking a peek at Kingston's mid-range SSD, the HyperX Savage. While not as quick as the HyperX Predator, the Savage is supposed to be a significant step up from the HyperX Fury. The Savage is powered by a Fizen S10 quad-core 8-channel controller and is loaded with Toshiba's A19 NAND flash. These specifications should make it Kingston's fastest SATA SSD to date, adding up to a quoted 560 megabytes per second read, 530 megabytes per second write. We're gonna be running a quick performance test for you a little later, but for now, let's just open up the box and take a look inside. Alrighty, so on top, we've got the drive itself. Underneath is the thickness spacer for laptops that need it. And conveniently packed underneath, we've got the three and a half inch adapter. We've got the HyperX sticker, instruction manual, and activation code. And they've also thrown in a USB uh, external disclosure, which is pretty handy and looks like it's pretty high quality. We've got the SATA cable, mounting screws and what appears to be a pen. So what appeared to be a pen before, you'll find, is actually just disguised as one. Kingston's on to the fact that none of us actually know how to write with a pen anymore, so what this is is actually a magnetic screwdriver for installation. Let's take a look at the USB 3 external enclosure. It appears to be a pretty high quality build. Uh, the bottom is plastic, but we do have sort of brushed aluminium finish on top and the slightly protruding silver HyperX sign. And you can also lock and unlock the case here, which just slides off like so. And you've also got a USB 3 cable inside. Now let's take a look at the drive itself. So it's got a nice matte black finish over the whole drive. And then we do have a nice red facade on the front with the HyperX branding in silver. Um, it does look pretty nice, but I mean overall it is just a standard two and a half inch drive, so what's left to do but stick it in and give it a benchmark. Now let's do some quick benchmarking with AS SSD benchmark. Just pick the Savage from the drop down list and hit start. So first we have the sequential write test, and here we see the Savage gets very close to the quoted 530 megabytes per second write, hitting 498.83 megabytes per second. Now the sequential read, and again we get close to the advertised speed of 560 megabytes per second with 511.44 megabytes per second. The random 4K performance is comparable to other high performance SATA SSDs, such as the Samsung SSD 850 Pro. And it looks like the 4K threaded performance is pretty comparable too. Finally we have the access time results, and we have some pretty mixed results here. The write access time is pretty fast with 0.052 milliseconds, while the read access time is rather slow for an SSD at, at 0.172 milliseconds. Before wrapping things up, we're going to take a quick look at the copy benchmark. So we'll hit start and watch. The ISO test took just a few seconds and delivered 437 megabytes per second. The program test, which features many more smaller read writes, took a bit longer, though we still managed a reasonable 257.91 megabytes per second. Lastly, the game copy benchmark took just four and a half seconds and fell just short of 310 megabytes per second. So overall, it looks like the HyperX Savage is a pretty good mainstream performance SSD. Thank you for tuning in to another Hardware Unboxed unboxing and product preview. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.